Hey you guys, welcome back to Celts Home Life. My name is Sally and today we are gonna be building a farmhouse blanket ladder. So to start off, you are going to be needing two two by fours at five feet long and four two by six at 17 inches long. I already had mine pre-cut and sanded down, but I'm just going again right now, as you can see, and sanding down the edges of the what are gonna be the steps, just because I really want them nice and smooth. And um, yeah, so keep on watching if you're interested on knowing how to build a ladder. Someday, someday. Okay, so I am just going to be putting some gloves on because when staining, it can get kind of messy. So I'm going to put some on just so I don't get it as much because I'll still get some stain on my hands, but at least it won't be so much. So here I'm just shaking it up really good because you want to make sure that it's nicely mixed before you open and just start staining. So here for this um, specific order, they were wanting the color red mahogany. So I'm just using the brand Minwax. And then what I use, many people use different types of techniques on when it comes to staining. You can use brushes, you can use rags, cloths, whatever you want. Personally, I just use a piece of um, t-shirt cloth or whatever I have spare there. And I, you just need a little bit. You don't need so much of it. And then as you've seen, I just dip it right on the stain and go straight onto the wood. Always go with the grain. Do not go against it. Always go in the direction of the grain. And also a little bit goes a long way. That's what I've noticed. And then if you are wanting a like more darker stain, you can always just let it sit for a little while and then wipe it off. I personally, I think that's just the way I'm doing it. It gives it enough color and it doesn't look too dark too light it just it, to me it's fine i want to be daring baby dance the night away i let my head down if i want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better
So moving on to the steps now, I'm just going to be repeating the process. And also just to mention, if you find any imperfections or you don't, you know, completely stain it, you can always go back and, you know, fill that in. And you will see me later on going in with a little brush and just, you know, getting every little imperfection that I wasn't able to get with the rack. Sometimes it is a little difficult, so don't worry, don't stress it, you will get everything you know at the end you can do better i you to be wilder i don't fit into your box beauty queens with final flaws you can do better i dare you to be wilder California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh. So this step here, I'm just showing it to you. It's a good example of what I mean. You know, the imperfection, it's kind of hard to get. And, um... Here, I'm just doing it with a little brush, just dipping it in there and really getting in the crevices of each little grain there just to get it. Some people actually like it like that. It gives it more of that, you know, rustic look. So it's really up to you whether you want to leave it like that or if you want to, you know, really get it all covered. I just wanted it a little bit more coverage and make it a little bit cleaner, not fully, but just a tiny bit. So. That's why I'm just going in with that small brush and um, dipping it in that stain just a little bit more. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number. I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself. I get a little starstruck when I see you. I also just 
just wanted to mention the side of the steps. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm not staining them. You personally can, it's really up to you, but I just see it as a waste of staining because you are attaching one leg to another. You're not going to see them, so there's no need to stain that, but I just wanted to mention that in there that I don't usually do it, but that's totally up to you guys if you guys, you know, want to do that or not. There's nothing out there to get you, don't forget it When life throws lemons Just call on me So once you're done staining, you just will let your wood sit there, you know, until it dries up. You can let it sit for 24 hours or honestly, as long as it's dry, you are good to go to move on to the next step. I let mine dry, I want to say about nine hours before I moved on. I just was doing other stuff and then came back to it. So now moving on to the actual process of putting it together. So what I do, I start from the top and measure down three inches. That will be my mark and mark it there. That will be my mark line for the first step. After that first mark, I start measuring six inches every time, or six inches, then mark it there. Move on six inches again, mark it there. And then I just mark it down all the way. I wanna say I did about eight markings all the way to the bottom. It's four steps, so you just, you know, mark it down all the way to four steps. So here, I'm just having um, David help me. So what he does is put the step up side, or you know, tries to put it at an angle, and then I will screw it from the other side, and then keep going until you get down to the bottom. I will have all the measurements and tools and stains and everything that I use down in the comments below, just. In case um, you don't get it here, I will have it all down linked down below. Are just going to be attaching the other leg all I'm doing is just marking the three inch mark again so I know where to start at and then for the other side I don't mark my markings you can if you want to I personally don't we just eyeball it and um, connect that way because once you start it on one side it's easier to just attach it to the other side Everything just turns around I get stunned by your 
Okay, so now that we have screwed it together, we're just, you know, eyeballing it, making sure that it looks nice and even and that we like the way it came out. Now that we like the way it came out, I'm just going to go ahead and secure it with the second screw. So the first time that I was screwing it, I just did one screw on each side of the step. But now I'm going back and putting a second screw. So each step should have two screws on each side. So a total of four. Like I mentioned earlier, you can go back and fix any imperfections here that you have or see. So that is what I'm doing. Now he is going um, on the side of the leg and putting, using the same brand, the Minwax, it's a wood filler. That is just going to cover up the screws in the, in the wood, cover that up. And we did get the one that's stainable, that way we can go back and stain it, which you will see in a few. So here's an up close so that you can see what I was meaning by filling in the wood. So here that's you know not filled and then here he's filling it just to give it a more clean look. And you only need to apply a little bit, you don't need much, it can get really messy if you do so just apply a small amount. And then what I'm doing now that he's applied the filler in is just going in with the small brush again dipping it in some stain, just applying it small amount and with a rag just wiping it right off. So 
Okay, so final step here is just to seal your wood. I can't stress this enough. Seal your wood. Always seal it. Don't just stain it and leave it. Always protect it with something. It's like a coverage for it. So what I'm doing is I'm going back in the same brand, Minwax, and I'm using a water-based polycrylic, I believe is how you say it, and I'm using the clear satin. I am using a spray can because I was out of my just regular canned one. It's a lot cheaper if you use the canned one and um, just use a brush or a rag and just apply it straight on. You'll use less than the can here, but this is what I had, so that's what I'm using. So I do about two coats and then just let it dry. Here is the final look on today's tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give this video a like if you have not done so. And also hit that subscribe button if you have not hit the subscribe button. I'd really like for you guys to be a part of our family and be a part of my journey. Let me know in the comments also if you guys are deciding to give this a try. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.